All right. Hey guys, this is Dr. Amy from Animal Chiropractic Education Source here with Base Camp sponsor from X Dog, Stan Smith. And he is here to tell us a little bit about what X Dog is and how that integrates into animal chiropractic and what it actually has done. I'm not really sure if we just we found him or he found us, but it was an awesome kind of integration of chiropractic meets dog. And so with no more introduction, I think, because his company is just has taken off and it's phenomenal and it's doing a lot of great things for dogs. I'm going to let him go ahead. So Stan, if you would, what is X Dog? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for bringing me on and allowing us to uh, finally meet in person. Um, initially, how we actually met was through a mutual friend. Um, we have some clients over here in the uh, city of Forney that own a grooming facility, and um, they compete in different dog sports. So we initially met through that, and I, it was kind of a surprise because I didn't know how who Dr. O was or, or was really familiar with animal chiropractic. And we hosted an event here, and when I found out who introduced us, it, it, it was uh, – it was amazing. It let me know that we were going in the right direction. But to answer your question, what is X Dog? Um, initially, when we started X Dog, our whole mission and goal was to, when we created the vest, was to just build a, a, a performance, a tool that would uh, allow dog owners to compete in dog sports to, to increase performance levels as far as increase speed, vertical distance, lateral distance, um, improve strengths, build better bodies, and um, and it organically moved into a cultural movement where now we identified that, you know, canine obesity is a big, it's plagued dogs just through just misinformation and um, education that the normal dog owner has been um, given for, the, for, I don't know, decades, right? And, um, mm -hmm. and our goal now is to go heads up against canine obesity. And this tool um, that we've created, X Dog, is, is, is something that's offered that to the average dog owner. So, we're, we're excited and it's an honor and it's an impactful movement and cultural movement that, that's organically come together. And um, I'm glad that, you know, you guys are part of the mission and that we could be part of your mission as well. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit about the vest. So, okay, so describe the that version way. one, when we created the vest, it was 2000, I had, my business partner, Stephen Cortez, I, I had told him in 2013, I was like, man, if we can, um, create a, a weight and fitness vest, I think it's going to be a uh, big game changer in the dog in the dog world. And for about the seven years prior to that, I was looking for a manufacturer, had no luck. And this guy right here sends one email and finds us a manufacturer. And I was like, I was happy. And I was like, man, at the same time, I was like, oh, you son of a gun, right? And, uh, <laughs> right place, right time. <laughs> right place, right time. And um, so, you know, we, we had a good uh, ecosystem of dog trainers, competitors, and handlers. So when we created the vest, um, I took it off a basic normal harness, and uh, we sized it and measured it. And the first initial vest, like say, our, let's say I look at our top selling uh, size, which would be medium. Um, it has six pockets on the side and then uh, a pocket on the front of each shoulder. And um, you can fill the you can fill those pockets with uh, they come empty obviously because we want to of course educate the consumer because just like any other tool if you misuse it it can cause damage um, so we want to we we left it empty so it would open up conversations so we can educate the consumer and then you can actually fill each bag with sand or BBs um, we find it better to fill it with BBs you don't have to use it as much and it contours the bags contour to the body a lot a lot better mm -hmm. and um, so basically it started out as a, uh, as a weight, weight and fitness vest. And then the version two, which we just added to some new implementations with a uh, warming pack and, and cooling pack on the inside to where the consumer can grab the gel pack after a workout, put it in vital areas like the armpit and the, you know, the neck and inside the groin area and um, to help cool the body down because recovery, as you know, is very important uh, just as, just as well as warming up. And now it, you know, that it, We've been we've been um, we've been doing uh, I guess charting down a lot of uh, reviews from dog owners who compete in sanctioned events. Let's say for example, dock dog diving. Right? You have a dog that's six or seven years old, been competing in dock diving for three or four years, and nothing's changed. They implemented the X dog vest, and they're shattering their records both in height and distance. Um, uh, Fast cat. We had dogs that were not even nationally ranked or in the top ten um, in their breed categories, or and 
next next thing you know, they don't change anything. They implement the vest, and now they're national nationally ranked number one, or they have multiple dogs nationally ranked one and two, and they're far exceeding um, exceeding their personal records and, and and ahead of everyone who's not using those tools. Which then. As you know, when you're competing, they're like, oh, what are you doing differently? They find out they're using your vest, and now we have all these competitors using the vest. And then you have all these different dogs setting new personal performance records that under sanctioned events, um, under regulated uh, or certified judges, and it's actually recorded. So dogs are jumping further, uh, jumping higher, running faster, pulling more weight and weight pull, and uh, recovering more efficiently. And, um, and I think, you know, word of mouth started to spread. And, we kind of really exploded in the, in the sporting dog community. And now we're ready to hit, uh, we're more focused on the everyday dog owner. And um, uh, one of the biggest excuses is I don't have time, you know, and, and this was this obviously be, before the pandemic, right? You know, and everybody was constantly working and busy and, and, and moving around or a lot, I know, I don't know anywhere else, but I know Dallas is really exploding. So a lot of people are migrating to Dallas because of the job opportunities, but they're living in apartments or they don't have very, very large areas to, to work out their dogs and um, they're finding it the, the, the x-dog vest is a very very beneficial tool to make that exercise more efficient cool so how does that integrate with animal chiropractic how well see them working together well after speaking with dr o um, and how he utilizes the vest is for example if uh, let's say a back you know the right rear leg is slightly underdeveloped you know he he was basically showing us how he will weight one side while leaving the other side unweighted and to, to balance the dog out um as you know the spine is very important and we're dealing with confirmation dogs you know um, gait and movement is very important and a lot of the feedback that we got from dogs who uh, from owners and handlers that were competing dog sports is that they're noticing the judges are noticeably saying that they're seeing a better top line, you know, on the dog. Awesome. So um, obviously, you know, stabilizer muscles are very important and critical to uh, protecting joints, ligaments, and tendons. And just, I mean, there's so much studies on uh, universal studies on resistance training on the human side and what it does to muscles and stuff like that. And obviously, you know, for example, like I'm getting older, um, you know, I'm about to be 43 this year and, you know, a, a lot of my friends are older as well. And um, that, you know, the big thing is, is that lifting weights is very important as we get older because uh, it helps strengthen bone right? You know, a lot of women who are dealing with osteoporosis, their doctors will tell them lift heavy weight, lift heavy weight to apply that pressure on the, on the bone. So it can develop those cells to strengthen bone strength. Right. Yeah. Right. So. so you're, so you say seeing dogs that age better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe so. I think, you know, I mean, it's a combination obviously of educating them on nutrition. It starts with there, right? Like nutrition is key. Yeah. Um, and, you know, when you have a dog that's older and lethargic, not moving around, and then, you know, their whole diet is processed kibble, right? And then all of a sudden now they're getting a, a more organically raw diet or diet that's biologically appropriate. Um, those key nutrients combined with uh, some exercise, I mean, that, that's a, a recipe for excellent um, cellular health. Awesome. Yeah. So that, that sounds like a perfect combination for animal chiropractors to bond with because it's going to help their and it's going to help their clients be more compliant with record or recommendations after they've been adjusted. Yeah, absolutely. What and you know, like again, X dog isn't the the vest isn't the the say all. It's still at the end of the day a tool. You know, at the end of the day, we try to help educate the dog owner first on look. You know, if you're having an injury, go seek a, a, a canine chiropractor or cert, uh, somebody who's certified that can help you out. And then let's fix your nutrition first. You know, it starts there. And, and, and again, the, the vest is just a tool, it's, and, and, but we still promote exercise. And what we've also noticed is that a lot of the owners are getting out more, you know, and exercising their dog. It's one of the benefits of having the vest is that, you know, marketing is really key right now on social media. And one of the things that the vest does is when soon as the person gets the vest, they have to throw it on their dog and they have to show it off on social media. So we get all this organic online marketing and mm -hmm. we've now been able to build this platform to where we're going, okay, how can we utilize this platform to spread this knowledge? Well, one, um, getting trainers and allowing them to do lives on our Facebook and which we're now getting like, 
they're getting millions of views. Like you can go on our X dog best Facebook page and you're seeing these trainers getting millions of views now. And why is that important? Because we believe that, uh, you know, dog owners need to get educated by good dog trainers because it all starts in the psyche, right? Like mm -hmm. a lot of the problem is, is that dog owners don't know how to communicate with their dog. They don't even know how to get them to sit. They don't need to get out of the place. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and that also helps balance the dog, right? Like the dog sure. having proper communication with their owner is a key deal. And then we can get someone like you or Dr. O to do a live on there and educate them as well on, on nutrition mm -hmm. and the importance of canine chiropractic. So we're like, okay, we've been blessed and fortunate enough to have this platform. So let's help other people spread their message who may not have as big as platform. And it's just, we're building this great ecosystem to where it's an impactful movement to one, help the dogs in the future, you know, have a better chance because this whole canine obesity stuff is, is crazy right now. It's, it's, it's really crazy. Well, it, I, it, it appears that it follows human obesity right up, you know, right through the door. Yeah. So it, it sounds to me like you're creating not just, not just a tool and not just an education, but a whole movement toward healthier animals and, and their owners. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like I always tell people, you know, like, yeah, we do have, uh, we do have physical goods that we sell, but X, that's not our product. Our product is education, culture, mission. Um, you know, we're, we're not that company. If somebody calls us up and we listen to their nutritional diet, for example, if they're on raw, we're not going to sell them a product they don't need. We're not going to sell them a, a protein supplement, right? Like, that's just not who we are, you know? Um, we analyze... We analyze their, pro their problem and, and we try to solve their problem without even investing anything into our products. And our whole goal is to get people to trust, trust the whole idea of exercising your dog, proper nutrition is really what's going to help extend the life of your dog, you know, your family member. And um, it's a big uphill battle. All the odds are against us, right? Because we're going against some big pockets and oh, a yeah. lot of years of education that's hasn't been correct and um but you know it has to start somewhere someone has to do it right exactly and it sounds like you've got a good start and yeah. it, and it sounds like maybe there's a call for animal chiropractors to actually get on board with that as well well yeah you know um like i said you know it's, i'm a big i'm a big person of of uh, what you get put out is what you get back. And there's a lot of things that's happened for us that I can't really explain. Like, for example, last week, I don't even have told, maybe Dr. O had seen it online, but we're currently, you know, I started this company out of my house and then we had all our product in these storage bins to, we eventually moved into this 5,000 square foot facility to last week. Now all of a sudden our leasing company goes, they come up to us and go, Hey, how would you like to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Move, uh, move up, you know, get a bigger location. And I was like, well, well, talk to me. And they're like, well, we're about to do this $700,000 uh, renovation over here at these two buildings that we ironically had looked at about six months ago. And this <laughs> is, it's an 18,000 square foot facility. They're going to be, uh, they're going to do level out the building in front of us to give us 36 car parking. So we'll be able to open a retail, open up a fitness center. We have a bit much bigger warehouse space, but within that center, we want to put a section for Dr. O and you guys, so if you guys come up, you guys will just have to come in and plot, you know, it's plot got space. down. Yeah, and then we'll be able to educate people and, and host events there. And I don't know how it happened. You know, it just ended up or it just happened. But that's kind of like a sign to say, hey, look, you guys are heading in the right direction. So let me open up these doors for you, you know. And um, that's um, awesome. Let's get this movement going. And I, I truly believe canine chiropractic because I've had injuries as an athlete when I used to run track, right? And mm -hmm. My junior year, I pulled my left hamstring. My senior year, I pulled my right hamstring. And I, I was really competitive. I finished really high in state in Illinois, but it was all because my back wasn't aligned. So I was already kind of, I've had to see planning the, how important it was to have chiropractic work and being a properly aligned. And um, to have it uh, with dogs, I was like, man, this is just right up our alley because I, it's something I truly believe in. That's awesome. That's how, that is, it just sounds pretty like the, the cutting edge thing. I remember, yeah. mind if I tell you a little story that seems to connect with what you're doing. When I was in veterinary school, I had been, a, been doing some bodybuilding before that. And I thought, you know, it would be cool to have a gym where the owner and the dog get to exercise together. Yes. It sounds like that's what you're building. Yeah. You know, um, we, uh, another thing, a manufacturer, a couple manufacturers hit us up and they have all these amazing treadmills from just these 
state-of-the-art treadmills along with like aquatic treadmills as well. So that's the thing that we're going to do. We're going to build a facility that where dog owners can come in, exercise them, exercise themselves and exercise uh, their dogs. And um, we're going to, we're going to do a lot of uh, filming and our whole goal is to just transform as many dogs as possible, you know, and educate as many people as possible. And um, I, 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 it would be an honor to have you guys come up, you know, and be a part of that movement as well. We would love to be. And I think as we build more animal chiropractors, because that's part of our goal, have one on every street corner. Yeah. I think it would be great to be able to bring in different animal chiropractors so you get other, those other perspectives too. Yeah, absolutely. And whatever we can do to, to help and, and host, just let us know. I mean, our building would be your building. Awesome. That's so awesome. Well, I am so glad you joined us today and that you are helping us boost the Base Camp Pro, which is a place for animal chiropractors to come together and learn more from each other. I think it's awesome that they're going to be exposed to what XDOG is doing so that they can learn more about it and see how it can help their practices and, and things like that. So if our, when our animal chiropractors see this video, how can they get a hold of you to find out more? Um, just go to xdog.com, hit the chat or email us. My, my email is Stan at xdog. Um, you can hit up uh, our personal assistant, Sabrina. She's amazing. Dr. O knows who Sabrina is. Um, but yeah, if you, are, if you are a chiropractor and if we can help you in any way, shape or form, hit us up. Um, like I said, it, it would be cool to, to host monthly events at our, at our location and be a part of it. And for example, what if, let me ask you a question. If somebody is interested in becoming a canine chiropractor, what are the, the steps? What type of education do they have? Or like, what's the process of actually becoming a certified um, canine chiropractor? Or an That's a chiropractor? great question because we get that question from all kinds of people all the time. The first step is to become a veterinarian or a chiropractor first. Okay. And so that seems like a long haul, mm -hmm. but most of the time we get that question from people like kids who are in high school or mm -hmm. just starting out college. Um, not that far to get into, we usually recommend they go chiropractic school first, um, mm -hmm. in part because we're veterinarians and we understand that how that thought process is different than being mm -hmm. a chiropractor. Either one works though. And then they apply for our school. They can even apply for it while they're still in veterinary school or while they're still in chiropractic school. And they take some online courses and then they take, so they take 129 hours online and they take okay. 110 hours here at the ranch with their hands on. They get to actually adjust animals, which is a big step for, for all of them because it really, the lights really go on. That's when they really start to realize this is what I'm doing and it's making such a big difference in these animals. So yeah, you know, I've seen a few adjustments live and it's just amazing where you can say, okay, look at this problem, Stan, right there, right? Okay, watch. You know, let the dog, you know, walk back and forth. And you're like, okay, watch this. Make the adjustment. And I'm like, holy crap, that is amazing, you know, like, but it makes sense. Like, but the av average owner may not know that, you know, like um, it makes me like you just even seeing that it's made me more aware and conscious about my dog's movements, you know, and, and um, certain indicators like, you know, can you overwork your dog? You know, what's the best ways to help your dog recover? Um, you know, I think with the, with humans being more educated and, and more consciously aware about uh, their own personal health and, and, and well-being, it's now, uh, you know, transitioned over to their companions, uh, their companion pets and animals. Um, because it seems like a lot more people are owning dogs than having kids now, you know? And well, yeah, that's it's, true. It's kind of crazy. Well, and I think as humans, I think our own awareness of ourselves makes us even more aware of everything else around us and how it has, you know, we, we think about animals differently now than we did 20, 30, 40 years ago when they yeah. were primarily property. And now we think of them as sentient beings with, thoughts and emotions and communication and all those kinds of things. Yeah, so, absolutely. And it sounds like you're making some great headway. Yeah. There. Yeah. You know, like I, you know, where I, where I really came and, and 
you know, a lot of people are like, well, what got you into dogs? You know, well, you know, I, I grew up in a small town, 2300, right? Um, I was very insecure because of my eye. You know, I lost my eye when I was a kid. And, um, you know, you, you deal with these insecurities. But one thing that was I was always drawn to was the dogs that I had growing up. Like, they just loved me unconditionally. They didn't judge me because we were poor. They didn't judge me because I, I had one eye. They just taught me how to, you know, they taught me compassion and love and forgiveness. And um, that's what really drawn me to it. And when I first initially started, uh, you know, getting into like the nutrition side of the business back in like 2005, 2006, it was like, all I could think about, how can I run a business to make money? And then I hit this turning point where I had some mentors because I was, you know, we, we were kind of stuck and plateaued. And it was, it, it was basically this one mentor of mine goes, listen, man, if you can solve problems and be impactful, um, the byproduct is that your business is going to grow. So like, you know, here we don't have salesmen. We don't have sales reps. We have coaches or, or we call them just regular reps. And our goal is we don't sell you. We, we are trying to help you. How can we serve you? How can we help you solve a problem? And that's, and once I figured that out, one, it made me feel so much better as a person because now I feel like I have a purpose, right? Like mm -hmm. there's a mission and there's a purpose and, and it's an impactful purpose and it's genuine and it feels good. And it, it, and I wake up every morning, cannot wait to wake up to go, hey, how many people can we help and serve today? And the byproduct is that doors are opening, the universe is opening up for us and um, stuff like this is happening. Being able to sit down with someone like you, Dr. Amy, I would have never thought about this five or six years ago. It would be even possible right uh -huh. and now it's like okay how can we help each other and spread the knowledge because we're both on this on, on the same mission how can we help dog owners increase the life and expand the life of their dogs awesome. right what a great mission to have i'm yeah. just i mean that's always been our mission but it's yeah. nice it is so uh, i don't know what the word is encouraging yeah to find that there are other people out there who are on that same mission and doing things that complement animal chiropractic in such a great way that it yeah. makes our job that much easier so we're yeah, really glad you're here really excited about having you around and yeah i mean the honor and blessing is mine trust me <laughs> i think it goes both ways all right well i appreciate you taking all this time and again they can find you at xdog.com yep just x dog Letter x dog.com and um <laughs> Yeah, what's cool is that this whole new location, um, you know, we're starting this project called the Crafted Human Project. And it's going to, you know, we, I, I've built this network of different manufacturers that have different products on the human side, like human supplements and nutrition. Um, we got like these cool different merchandise and stuff. And what we're going to do with the Crafted Human Project is have an indoor fitness gym for humans. But at the same time, like we're going to create a product line to where when people invest into one of the Crafted Human Projects, it's going to go towards a... Uh, uh, a funding to where we're going to be able to work with different rescues and um, as they screen screen the individual we're going to pay for those rescue fees and um, oh, you know awesome. adoption fees so our goal with that is to uh, at the same time get them a part of that ecosystem can we rescue you know rescue thousands, hundreds of as many dogs as we can possibly rescue right and help out yeah. and give back at the same time educating those um, new dog owners who are rescuing those dogs as well. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a great movement. Odds are against us, but you know, with people like you backing us up and uh, you know, and us helping you guys out, we can build this massive platform, educational platform that's going to, uh, you know, really be impactful for the dogs in the future and their owners. Awesome. I can't wait. This is going to be exciting. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to um, say goodbye to our listeners and let them know that, you know, as animal chiropractors, base camp is november 13th through 15th it is gonna it is a new adventure for animal chiropractors it's live stream it can be experienced both live or virtually and vir the virtual package is really cool because you can do the basic virtual we know a lot of you you know some of you were had business that was down during this pandemic and so you're trying to save some money but you got to keep your certification so we made it super cheap right now. This is the time to register. And when you register now, the bonuses just start coming in. So for those of you who register now, you'll get bonuses all the way through to November. And there are two virtual possibilities. One is the bonus virtual and one is just regular plain old 
attend class. You can register for any of those three opportunities. And I heard some pretty cool information from Dr. O, Stan, that some of the attendees are actually going to get X dog vests. Yeah, we're going to uh, hopefully we'll have the version three out or prototype. Um, but one of the things I'm looking forward to this, uh, to this camp is going down there and getting some valuable insight from all the chiropractors and how can we take this vest and make it the best hands down tool possible um, that chiropractors can use. And um, at the same time, guys, uh, you know, don't look at this like as you're spending money, look at it as an investment. I remember when I started this company, I was homeless living out of my car and I had like $1,200 left. And it was the risk that I took to do that. And then, you know, it took 17 years later, but you know, now um, again with the Craft of Human project is that we're, we're, we know that everything is moving to, a lot of it's moving to e-commerce. So it, we're gonna ha also help you guys, uh, educate you guys on how to market online, how to generate leads online. That's, that's one of the big things that we wanna do is help you guys, teach you guys how to market down there. And that's something that we wanna give back to, uh, to canine chiropractors because it's important to us that your message gets out. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to um, be talking to our, our registrants all the time from now until November. But in the meantime, you can find Stan at xdog.com. And of course, you can register for Basecamp Pro at animalchiropracticeducation.com. Right underneath the courses is the list, is the link for Basecamp Pro. And we are pretty excited about this adventure. Thanks again for joining me. Thank you, Dr. Amy.